a little late, but uh, uh, I'm happy to be here to be with you this morning. What I'd like to do is to talk uh, rather briefly um, about uh, some of the things that I said yesterday and then uh, to entertain your questions. Um, the bottom line for um, the message that I gave yesterday is that we are continuing to live within our means while investing in the things that we think are important to Ohio's future. Um, we are uh, investing in our children, uh, in education specifically. Um, we think we have um, created a system of education that is just not collaborative in nature, but as our chancellor likes to say, is integrated. That from the youngest years of a child's life through um, the university years, we think we have um, put together a plan that is fluid and comprehensive. Uh, our chancellor and our new um, superintendent of public instruction will be working uh, very closely together. Um, we will have a tuition freeze at all, all of our community colleges and our branch campuses for the next two years. We will have a tuition freeze at uh, our main um, campuses, uh, large institutions, for the first year of the biennial budget um, with uh, a 3.5 um, tuition limit for the second year. We think that is unprecedented. We were the only state to, in the last two years that had a, a freeze at all of our institutions, our public institutions, and I suspect that we will be if not the only state, um, one of a handful of states that's able to do what we're doing in this next two-year budget, especially in these very difficult economic times. I've been reading the State of the State uh, speeches of some of my fellow governors, and some of the states are contemplating tuition increases of 8 to 10%, uh, and we are able to avoid that. <clears throat> um, we are putting more money into uh, elementary and secondary education. Um, you will get the details on Monday when our budget is presented and uh, my director of uh, management and budget will be spending a couple of hours uh, with you to explain in detail. But um, um, the bottom line is in the next two years, in the midst of this difficult economic recession, we will be putting uh, 925 million more dollars into elementary and secondary education than we're in the current two-year budget. We think that's substantial. We also think we have uh, uh, a guide plan toward the full implementation of the evidence-based model uh, that will not rely upon one-time monies. We are using some some stimulus. Uh, dollars uh, in this two-year budget, but um, we think that uh, our plan going forward will not be reliant upon um, such um, federal assistance. Um, we are uh, creating several <clears throat> um, uh, initiatives to expand health care. We finally have federal, federal approval to expand the S-CHIP program to our children up to 300% of poverty. And um, we are also uh, working to make sure that uh, more Ohio adults have access to health care coverage. We think our plan will, will enable about 110,000 additional adult Ohioans to, uh, to gain coverage. Um, we have several job creation uh, initiatives um, in our budget. Uh, including uh, in the next um, some months uh, to uh, expand the Third Frontier Program, to, to continue it and expand it, and uh, um, to uh, also uh, work toward a second um, job stimulus package. Can you give us any more specifics in terms of 
of how you know offset the 925 million um, will be cuts um, in the concessions or what sort of things. Well, as I said, we will have our complete budget for our budget uh, outline uh, presented to you Monday in uh, rather specific detail. And uh, so I, I will uh, allow uh, my budget director to do that. By the way, I, I, I think this is not um, contrary to the way we have traditionally uh, dealt with the state of the state of the union with the later rollout specific budget, but I can tell you that um, uh, it will be specific. Um, we will tell you exactly how we are doing what we are proposing, and we will explain to you the path forward. Um, so um, uh, I, <clears throat> I um, uh, understand that um, I didn't say everything yesterday about everything. <laughs> Uh, I guess the speech could have been three hours long instead of um, as long as it was, but neither, none of us would have uh, preferred that, I suppose. But um, this is something that we have worked on for, for many months, I could say, for um, perhaps a couple of years. And we think we have, um, have devised uh, a defensible pathway forward. Having said that, I'll um, leave the, uh, the specifics of the budget to uh, the men's discussion. 